What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Pokemon Masters video. My name is Charlie and before we get into today's video, let's go ahead and see what we hatch. Um, I'm not sure what we're hatching. These are all three star eggs because that's the only thing I focus on. We got a Scyther, not a shiny Scyther. He eludes me still. So we'll see if we get an actual decent... I only have one three passive Scyther, which I did yesterday. Another Scyther! <laughs> Okay, the game's just messing with me now. Alright. Come on, give me a shiny Scyther. You know you want to. Weedle! Again! I'm going... I'm saving all of the... I record all of my eggs hatching. Weedle has been... Showing up out of three star eggs more than anybody. Hopefully one of those Scythers was a 3-passive. A 3-passive Tech Scyther, which I already did a video of. Alright, well, bye-bye. <sighs> the Strike Scyther and Shiny Scyther, and Strike Pincer for that matter, uh, still elude me. Or wait, I think I might have one. Let me check. What's this pincer? Nope, this is a tech pincer. So this is <laughs> a tech pincer. Okay. So he's got hostile environment. He's got dirty fighting too. He's got headstrong. Uh, hang in there, which raises his defense and special defense and gradually heals himself, which is really good and raises his speed. But he has body slam, which will paralyze the opponent. Uh, so... You know, you can inflict paralysis, and then you can attack with Bug Buzz. Or not Bug Buzz, but uh, X's are here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we also have uh, Tech Beedrill with three passives, Antitoxin, Hostile Environment, Dirty Fighting 1. And this one's a little bit more uh, better for... Uh, attacking and instead of just being a regular like tech kind of a unit uh, you can do raise its critical hit rate raise its speed and you can do either twin needle which has a small chance of leaving the target uh, poisoned which gets increased with the uh, hostile environment and then you can do pin missile uh, which attacks the target two to five times in a row yeah, yeah, uh, I'm still just waiting on a decent, on a decent attack Scyther or, or strike, uh, Scyther or strike Pincer. Uh, we do have Venomoth here, a three passive Venomoth. It's got clear headed, prevents the Pokemon from being confused. Troublemaker one, which is really good, uh, raises the chance of, uh, the success of status moves that inflict status conditions and Dirty Fighting one. Uh, but it has Stun Spore, which is not bad. Uh, and uh, Hang in there, which raises the user's defense and special defense and gradually heals itself with X speed. And it's got Infestation, which leaves the target trapped. So let's go ahead and give Venomoth a little shine in the spotlight today. Let's see here. We'll go to Events. We'll go to the Bug-type Egg event. And we'll go to the Heart stage. Why not? For preset teams, let's see if we can find. Hmm. Trying to think. We'll use this one. We'll switch this guy out. Edit. Go ahead and put you in there. And since you're a special attacker. Yeah, special attacker. We'll go ahead and switch you out for uh, Rosa and Superior. And we'll go ahead and bring in uh, Sabrina here. I've already seen the future that lies beyond. And what Sabrina will be able to do is Dire Hit All, uh, which is really nice, in Sixth Sense, which will also raise special attack and also heal. So we'll give us a shot. We'll see how this one works out. 
it's a one star uh, because I'm saving that stuff for when we do get a decent scyther <laughs> or a shiny scyther for that for that matter go ahead and do hang in there Use X speed as well. We'll see if it can tank a uh, a sync move from the opponent as a one star. Man, we're really increasing that critical hit rate right now, which is awesome. It's very useful. And we'll go ahead and use reflect. We'll go ahead and use its sync move. We'll see how much damage this does. Now that it's as powered up as we can get it. It did a decent amount of damage, to be honest with you. We'll go ahead and use Stun Spore now. Let's see if we can increase its... Uh, Troublemaker 1. Okay, so its special attack can be increased a little bit more. Let's see if we can just... Paralyze everyone else around here. Bend them to your will. Very good voice acting there. By the incomparable uh, Miss Lizzie. Uh, that Pokemon actually. Well, I guess it's just Post now. Uh, he. Uh, interviewed her. I'll see if I can reach out to her and see if we can get her on the channel as well. It'd be really cool to talk to her. Now we'll start in on the Infestation 1s, if we can survive this. Which we did pretty easily. Very, very good. Very, very good. And we just healed ourselves. And increased our accuracy, which is good. Even though we don't really need it for Infestation. So now we'll start in on infestation with dirty fighting and all that fun stuff. 200. I could see this being very, very useful as a four, four star unit. Like, this, I would actually use this as a four star unit. This might be. If. Pincer, if Strike Pincer isn't that great, I would definitely uh, go with this one instead of Strike Pincer. As far as investing um, one star power ups, two star power ups, uh, three star power ups, just to get up to a four star unit, that would be really, really good as a four star unit. Because it should be able to tank these sync moves. But we'll go ahead and use uh, six cents on her. Or him, rather. Or is it a girl? I can't remember if it's a girl or a boy uh, Pokemon. And we'll go ahead and save our sync move. Because we're already so close to taking out Execute That we will uh, save it for one of the sides. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, we'll go ahead and use our sync move now. After we do this level, we'll try the very hard. And uh, we'll see if we can survive that sync move. That's the real test, is surviving the sync move from uh, the very hard stage. Because Scyther could not do that. He really couldn't. Not as a one star unit, at least. Or Tech Scyther. The one that we tested yesterday. And this should do it. Oh, trapped hit it. Boom. Just like that. Yes. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Now, since it is a really good tech unit, 
what we could do is start out with a stun spore and to paralyze the execute and then go in with uh, infestation get it trapped and then start powering it up uh, so we'll go ahead and try that out we'll see what that works out like All right, so paralyze it. We'll do dire hit alls. We'll do special attack alls. It's got less than paralyze. Okay, that makes sense. You, these things usually do. It was paralyzed, which is awesome. Now it's going to be trapped. We'll do X speed. Are we getting an MP refresh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll just keep increasing our speed over here. Are we getting another MP refresh for Dire Hit? Nope. Okay, so we'll do that. And now we'll just go in on... Uh, I guess we should do some uh, hang in there's. We'll do that. You can use X defense all all you want, buddy. We'll go ahead and use our sync move. Uh, because these are special attacks, not physical attacks. But we will defend ourselves from physical attacks with reflect. Haha. Cool, cool, cool. We'll go ahead and do a hang in there. I do want to see him tank a sync move. So we'll see if he can tank the sync move. He tanked it! Alright. Good deal. Good deal, man. Alright, now let's go in on this. Uh, let's go in on this execute. And we'll do the time to energizes just to uh, just to decrease our sync move counter so uh, that we can hit him with our next sync move as quickly as possible. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I didn't want to use an attack move from another one of the other uh, Pokemon on my team. But you know, slippy fingers, slippy fingers. Hopefully it doesn't do too much. Okay, it didn't do too much. Good. Boom. Come on. Yeah, that dirty fighting really does help a lot. Not bad, man. Not bad. The Venomoth is actually doing way better than uh, Scyther is. Uh, I think it's because it's got a higher defense stat. But then again, as a tech unit, it, it would do better uh, because of the higher defenses, I think. It's not centrally focused on attack stats. And we'll see if it tanks this next uh, sync move. Because it is healing itself with every attack, so we'll see what happens. Nah, it couldn't survive two. <laughs> it's pretty close, though. That was really close. That was really, really close. That was really, really, really close. Oh, man, that was good. Uh, okay. So we still need... Uh, no, we're good on all of our eggs for right now. So yeah, these are all three-star eggs. I'm just farming three-star eggs, so we'll see what happens, you guys. Hopefully, tomorrow, we'll actually be able to get a shiny. Or at least a three-passive strike. But yeah, if you're new here, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe, if you have not already, so you never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters content. And hit that little bell notification, so you always get notified when I upload a video. Every single day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!